G'day guys, uh, Hector back again. Just wanted to do a kind of quick review for my RC Mart uh, for their new RCX uh, H2205 motors. Uh, they've got them in a few different KVs and they've also got a combo with uh, the new Little Bees. That's right. Uh, so I just wanted to do a quick review. There's been a few questions out there about the legitimacy of the uh, Little Bees themselves and how good are the motors, how do they match up to the, um, the Cobra 2204 or 2205 uh, 2500 kV, we really call them. Uh, so yeah, we'll just get right into it I guess. So, we'll drop you down onto the, onto the workspace, excuse all my mess here, um, I'm really not set up for, for doing this sort of thing but I just thought, you know, hey, what the heck, it, it definitely could help, it could help some people. So, um, so first up, I did, I wanted to compare the, uh, the ESCs. Now, here I have, uh, you know, I've got a bit su a supply of legitimate, you know, definite legitimate little bees. Um, I haven't heard of any actual fakes anywhere, but, um, you know, people are talking. So, um, these are definitely little bees, bought from Buzz Hobbies, uh, known to, um, shop here in Australia that is definitely selling little bees and under the table here is one of my walk, uh, workhorse quads an everyday flyer and it's currently loaded up with uh, RCX uh, H2206 motors with the little bees that come with uh, the my RC mark combo so we'll rip the sticker off here and we'll just do a little comparison for you guys now basically what we have is a black PCB but we're using the same FETs same voltage reg the same filtering circuit here if we flip it on over We've got the same gate drivers, the same CPU, all the same, you know, is, it is, these are little bees, definitely, for sure, little bees. Um, they're, you know, they're just a black PC, uh, black PCB, and um, no sticker with uh, my ones. The picture on their website does show this sticker on, you know, like this, but uh, I'd, mine just come blank in, in heat shrink so you know I, I was questioning it myself and you know I just quickly grabbed out one of these and went oh yeah no that's uh, they're definitely little bees but one thing you'll you'll notice here is um, just quickly you see I don't know if you can actually see that detail there but there is a slight solder ball on this little ceramic cap up here and you can see see this resin that's um, flux from the manufacturer and it's actually turned white up here it's created a residue on the heat shrink now I haven't seen these ones do that these the black ones have so I just I don't think they're washed uh, nearly as well as these ones or I don't know maybe maybe it's just just me and and these particular sets that I got but that's one thing I have noticed about them so I mean next time you know I might give them a bit of a, a scrub up with some alcohol before I um before I install the motors so moving on okay so next I wanted to uh, just give you a bit of a look over of, of the motor itself um, so what we have here is the 2350 kV 2205 there's nice and tight coil windings on the coils there uh, very easy C clip to remove it's not like your standard circlips where you need to sort of push them out you can literally just pop a screwdriver on the side here um, well it's not a screwdriver but imagining that's you know a screwdriver or something you can almost just pop it off in a plastic bag of course it's always a good idea otherwise you will lose it but um very easy to remove very easy to get off in fact um 
I might end up, if I can't find a pair of pliers very quickly, I'll cut this out, but, okay, no, took a little bit longer to find a pair of uh, pliers, just to quickly show you this, but um, I, I did want to show you how quickly these can be removed, now hopefully it um, doesn't make a fool of me, but plastic bag, pair of pliers, all you need, all you should need, now, couple of motor, what you want to do is get this end, hopefully, I really do hope this is um, in view of the camera, I don't know how great this camera is going to be in this sort of lighting condition, but um, let's see, yeah that looks like we can see that, so basically you want to get this side butted up against the, um, the out of the C-clip and push the other side on the shaft, like so, and then just push in, and you're clipped off there, and now it's off, that's it, very easy, took very minimal force, like if, if you're applying really any any force in doing that, it's, you know, something's going wrong, um, so I mean like it, it didn't take any force at all to really do that, I was just merely, you know, compressing it a, a slight amount and it just popped off, that's what you, what you want. And there's our secret. So um, now we can have a bit of a closer look at the motor. We'll take her apart. Now this has been flown and um, crashed into car parks and fences and all sorts of things. And I have had to tap the shaft in once um, with a little bit of green Loctite and I haven't had an issue again. Now you can see in the bell there, I mean like I, like I said, I have been flying this and it's not, I'm not the greatest at maintenance, I don't, I don't always, um, you know, blow my motors out with compressed air after I fly or any of that sort of stuff, so, you know, what you, all this crap you're seeing coming out is just general use for, um, for a week or two on these particular motors. But uh, you, you see, you got, you got your dynamic balancing gook there, so it's been spun on a balancer and um, and balanced, so you know the bell's not going to be vibrating for you. The windings look nice and tight, nothing wrong there. Uh, motor wires coming out are fairly snug. I've not had any dramas, only when snapping arms. Um, if you've got your ESC, you know, in underneath your, um, your your top and bottom plates, and you've got long motor wire arms, and and they're not, you know, you don't have a service loop of some some description, you're probably going to pull the wires out. I mean, that's inevitable, and you're going to do that, whether it be a cheap nine dollar motor or a thirty dollar T motor, it it doesn't matter. You're going to do that if, if you know it's just about how you build and and how you pre prepare for crashes. So, you know, I'd like to have a, a service loop on an arm if I'm going to put ESCs <coughs> in between um, top and bottom frames, like so. At least that way, if, if an arm snaps, you've got a bit of give there on the cable that might save your motor. But me personally, as you've seen earlier, I prefer to um, actually mount my ESCs out on the arm. And I have yet to have an issue with um, killing them with props or anything yet. So, something to think about. Now, just quickly pop this motor back together and we'll do some weight comparisons. Um, while I'm here, I'll, you know, I'll put, the C, I'll put this C-clip back on. Um, once again, in the bag, place it close. Just get it, you know, pretty close on the shaft and do the opposite. Put uh, one end on the shaft and one end on the outer side of the of the circlip, and just push in. It might need a little bit of force, but not very much at all. And it's back on there, nice and snug. So uh, now we have our motor back in one piece. We'll do some uh, weight comparison. Okay, so we'll bring in the scales. Uh, I also have with me today a 2206 2250 kV RCX motor. This is something I've been running for about 10, almost 11 months now. 
and um, these you know these are great motors. I've really bashed the crap out of these, and um, they just keep on going. I've had one. Uh, this one I've got the, the clip off. I have had one loose magnet, but it was about nine months old and had many, many, many crashes. So that's expected once again with even the highest of quality motors. So we'll pop that on the scale with our wire. And I have 28 grams, 28.7 grams. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. You'll have to take my word for it. It's 28.7 grams. And we'll pop our 2205 uh, motor on. Um, to be fair, I guess I'll take off the nut because I mean I didn't have that on there, so just to be fair. And I have 25.5 grams, so it's 28.7 to 25.5. So we're saving a couple of grams there. And I mean, noticeably the power is not that different really. I mean, the, these will happily run a six by four, a uh, six by four five inch on four cell. Whereas um, I'm yet to try that on these, but that will be happening next. So, um, for the sake of it, we'll also throw in a uh, Tiger motor as well. And this is a Tiger uh, 2206 2000 kV Navigator Series. It hasn't got its prop adapter on there. It is 27.2. Hang on. We really should be fair in these things. I should at least pop that on there. Ooh. Once again, we'll take that off. So I've got 29.15, so a little bit heavier than our um, RCX 2206. Um, I've yet to try these motors, so I don't know how they're going to go in power wise, but um, yeah, that will be super interesting. So some weight comparisons done, laughing. Uh, next on the list. Uh, yes, so now KV in the in these new 2205 motors, we have got a few different KVs. We have uh, 20, uh, sorry, 2350, which you see here, and then on another build I've got down here under the table with uh, little bees, of course, also. Uh, we have the 2,633 kV uh, motors. Very, very, well, they're exactly the same as these. The only difference is is the amount of windings in on the coil that's um, that has been changed. So, uh, I mean, the build quality is exactly the same. Um, actually, while we're at it, look, I mean, so to have a look at the windings on those two, yeah, the Tiger motors definitely you know I mean it's a much more more expensive motor it, it's definitely got the quality over it is as far as the coils look the one I mean the um, enameled wire looks a lot cleaner on the Tiger motor and they've got a lot of space in here at the bottom of the bell for your um, for your screws to come through however things I don't like that I do about this motor is you can't see where the screws are, whether they're about to hit your, hit your coils. Um, these ones make it very easy to, to look up the side and see, oh, my motor, you know, how long your screw is and whether it's about to, you know, screw your motor by, um, by hitting the coil. Another thing I don't like about these motors that I love about these is, once again, we've got our circlip design, our C-clip and circlip. Uh, this, I call this a C-clip and I call this a circlip. I, I really don't know the difference like in the names, but that's just how I do it. These I love, nice and easy to get off. These things are pretty well non-replaceable. Like I've, I've reused them many times, but every time I've reused one, I have always thought to myself, oh, that might not work properly, and I really should replace that with a new one. Uh, given the chance, I would 
bugger that off and just put a C-clip on there like so and be done with it. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it for for the My RC Mart uh, Little B and Motor Combo. Uh, it's definitely a good deal, you know, like the, these 2205 motors are definitely up to scratch with the, with the uh, Cobras. You, you know, you only have to check out a few videos on YouTube, I and mean, I've got a couple up there, and there's lots of other guys throwing videos out there with these these new uh, RCX 2205s. It's um, definitely going to be interesting to, to see how they stack up in the races now that they're starting to gain a bit of popularity. It's, um, yeah, I'm, I'm keen to see the cheaper motors get out there and, you know, see the, see the market share that they deserve, really, because um, they're a top quality motor. I've, you know, always ran these sort of motors. I've got the 2206s. I've got eight of these on, you know, two different builds and have had minimal drama in the... The only drama is is things that I've you know done myself after many months of abuse. So you know I can't complain there. And these look these new twenty two oh fives. They you know, they are a bit cheaper made than the twenty two oh sixes. You're gonna they, there's no grub screw in here. So um, you know a few hard hits. You might get some vertical play. It took me a, about seven or eight hard crashes into multiple objects. To develop any play and I was able to remove that by a few taps of a hammer um, of course I mean I'll take take the bell off and um, and give it a few taps and away we go again and I have had one magnet slip out in a major crash on the 2633 kV uh, motors so um, yeah basically we're um, I they're a $9 motor they're at the moment, a higher quality thing than, than Cobras, from what I can tell. You know, Cobras are letting magnets slip left, right and centre. Um, you know, these things are cheap chips. They've got the power. Why not? Why not give them a go? Final thoughts on the Little B and 2205 combo. Uh, there's multiple KVs out there. I, so far, have tested the 2350 KV and the higher 2633 KV. Um, I, th I think the 2633 KV are going to be a great match for 5 inch props max on high C batteries. Um, my batteries are getting pretty old now, the old nanotechs that I've got, and I said I need to replace them to, re to really give it a good test. But um, the, this, the lower KV, the 2350, they're a great motor for sort of general flyers and, and people who are getting into a bit of acro and pushing harder like myself. Um, you know, I'm not the best, but I, you know, I'm definitely abusive on the throttle. Um, horrible throttle management is what I'll call it. Basically, I'm just a you know, power pig and, and I don't use the power um, very well, is what I would say. So the, the 2350 kV motors are better suited probably for me and my batteries. And I'd probably be able to run them on six inch, uh, six by four or five props, a lot nicer and happier than the uh, higher 2,633 KVs. Uh, so yeah, that's that's about it. Head on over to my RC Mart, check them out. It, it's definitely worth it. See you next time.